Welcome back to Sub-Zero Hero the Save, where I'm going to try and take an Arctic Circle team from the bottom of Norwegian football to the top, using nothing but the youth intakes. It's time for our first fixture in charge today. We've got a game against Hod. There's no relegation this season, remember, so seemingly not even I could mess this one up, but it would be nice to have a good, solid campaign. be nice to start it off with a, a point. Maybe even a victory. Okay, strap yourselves in, people. This threatens to be another bumpy ride on this channel. We've got our first game of the season today. It would be lovely to get it underway with a victory. We've played one more friendly since we last saw you. A game against a local side, Locomotive Trompser. A 4-0 win. Look at that pre-season form. We've got a game today before a couple of weeks break. We've got some more friendly fixtures arranged. With pre-season form like this, we can't fail to get beaten 6-0 today. Now, just to remind you, there's no relegation in this campaign and only 13 games, which I thought was a bit odd when I first loaded up the season. So I simmed through a campaign just to see what happened in season two. And it does go up to a home and away 26 game campaign. So if we survive that long in the job, that will be what we're looking forward to next year. By the way, in that season that I did sim, Tromsdal and did finish bottom. They only had four points, no victories all season and only nine goals scored in their 13 games, which does beg the question, why have I started this series in another very sackable job? It's all part of the charm, isn't it? If it doesn't go well, well, We'll go and rebuild Barcelona like everybody else. This is what we're going to send out today. We're playing a 4-4-2. Never have I put more time, thought and attention into designing a tactic before. 4-4-2 doesn't sound very creative, but I've actually I've tried to develop something that is a little bit different to my normal kick and rush tactics. I'm trying to play a 4-4-2 with a target man, but not a long ball tactic to prevent us getting outnumbered in midfield. I'm playing this Kind Bendixson as a, as a narrow wide midfielder. I'm asking him to do more risky passes. I'm hoping that he's going to be a bit more creative. He's going to be playing some little through balls for our poacher to run onto there. We've got an out and out winger who I'm hoping is going to be sliding some crosses across the box. That maybe Leesfold can attack at the far post there. I've got wing backs on this side, maybe coming up to the halfway line. Sending some deep crosses into the big man Grunvold, who again played very well in our latest friendly fixture. We've got Christofferson, who can rampage up from left full back and get a good cross in as well. I'm not asking anything too spectacular of my central midfield, too. Got no playmaker at all in this strategy. I'm trying to use the wide midfielder and the target man to create the play around, although with this guy, Carlson. He's a central midfielder with a defend function on there, but I've let him take more risks with his passing because his passing and vision are pretty reasonable. So he's kind of got like some playmaker qualities to him. And I'm only going with a balanced mentality. I've always favoured going a little bit more adventurous, starting with a positive mentality. I'm thinking balanced is going to be my new positive, and for away games, I may even go cautious with this tactic. I'm trying to be less cavalier, less gung ho, less kettering, less sackable, if you will. Preseason's been good. The team are set up. The tactic has already started to really embed in the squad. We're going to get thumped today against Hod. I'll be redesigning it by half time. I would imagine. Let's get out there and see how we get on. I fear we might have taken on another challenge that ends in a sacking inside the first season, but I like the idea of trying to create these youth players and taking us up the leagues, and Norway seems a good place to do it, and the Arctic Circle seems like a challenging place to do it. So we're going to give it a go today. We are going to outstretch our arms. No, we're not. We're not going to tell them to enjoy themselves. This is not a place for enjoying ourselves. We're going to order them to impress me. That's what we're going to do. And we're out there. First game. Ordinarily, taking charge of a game in the Norwegian third tier doesn't get the butterflies going. 
But when you've been sacked in the save that was meant to run for the entire of FM21... Well, the butterflies are definitely going now. There's a lot on this. Here is the big target man, Grunville. He's not that quick, but everything else is pretty spectacular about him. Look at us, we're playing it around a little bit. Oh, our left winger Pedersen's had a dig. We've had the first chance of the game. It's a long ranger, it's a sighter, but it's a decent start, isn't it? We've had three shots now. Oh, could we get a win on the first day of the season? Oh, I'm already dreaming about finishing in that top seven, you know, and qualifying for the playoffs. I know I'm getting ahead of myself, but pre-season looked good. And here we go. We've got a little free kick. We've got nowhere with it, but now we've got Christofferson, the left back. He's slung one over. Least Vols missed it. Here's the little wide midfielder. Back to our right back here. He's got it in. Oh, Grunville swung one at it. He's a left footer, Grunville. He swung a right peg at it. Didn't get it in. Okay, I'm going to say that's a solid first half. We've restricted them to just one shot. The assistant says we've been the better team. Mm -hmm, I'm not sure that's the right team talk, is it? I'm not happy or I'm far from pleased. Tell you what, we're going to trust the assistant. He's paid more than I am to do work at this club. So we're going to trust him. We're going to send him back out. I think we might be reaching for a demand more shout pretty soon. Let's pull the trigger on it. Don't think that's had much of an effect. Oh no, we're now we're defending. Let's get this ball away. Oh, we hacked it into one of our own faces. And oh, they've smashed one over. Okay, I think maybe we need to make our first substitution in charge. There's not been a lot going on over on the left wing from Pedersen. We've got this young chap on loan. Grunvold's not played great either, but the whole tactic is built around him, so he stays on. By the way, two years at Kettering. Got it away. And again, two years at Kettering. Didn't score a goal from a corner. Pre-season here, we scored five. Oh, as Liss falls on the break as the poacher. Five goals from corners. And Grunville got three of them. So he could be dangerous from set plays. Not today so far, though. I'm not going to nudge it up, though. I'm not going for a more expansive mentality. Our right back has not played well, though, has he? So let's make a little change. Loveland can play over there at right back. And we will bring on Lars Henry Andreasen in the midfield. He's all right. Longer term, we might be switching Loveland to play at fullback because we're a little bit light out there. Oh, can we go on and get the winner? Oh, we're defending again, though. We're defending set pieces again. Can we counter again like last time? Don't give us the heartbreaker. Get it away. Oh, it's the heartbreaker. It's Ramsey Tory. Ah, oh, the heartbreaker. So good in preseason. So bad on the opening day. Couldn't get the ball away. Is that one of their big centre halves that's up? Oh, look, we've probably shaded those match stats. Now we're going to have to go more attacking. Oh, it's Kettering all over again. And we've finished the game and we've gone down 1-0 to Hod. We're going to point the finger and say that that wasn't very good. And we didn't get the opening day victory that we were after. We're up against it already. We're not going to throw the baby out with the bathwater this time, though. We're going to stay with this tactic. We're going to work on it. We're going to train them in it. We're going to get them used to it. I'm sure we've got enough about us to avoid finishing in this bottom three or four this season. The test will be season two when we might lose one or two of our players and the relegation places come in and then it really is serious. But could we go on and do the impossible? Could we try and get a promotion with this club using nothing but youth intakes? We're going to go away and play a few more of these fixtures. Hopefully, 
We're going to settle in at this club and start making our way up the league because we are absolutely desperate for the fans to think of us as their sub-zero hero.